Hi, welcome to Shoreditch Treehouse. I'm Ross and this is Waffle. Initially I moved here as my home. It was a live work space and then it kind of changed when I upgraded my piano. I used to own a 1974 Steinway Model A. Once I was in the space I just thought well it can justify a far bigger sound. I decided to treat myself to the ultimate luxury in piano as a performer, which is Steinway Model D piano. And a lot of musical friends would get together, have a jam here. I had a couple of friends who were looking for venues to launch their albums, and I offered the space up for that. And it worked amazingly well as a very intimate, yet magical kind of space for something like that. It's really evolved even more now to the point where we've got a lot of big corporates booking it for board meetings and training events. And we've had a lot of celebrities here for different launches or filmings of programs and films. But the piano is still the focal point for me of this place. It just evolved to the point where I now have Deborah on board as a venue manager who's got an amazing eye and she's done a lot of modifications to ways to add more plants, add more lights. Today we've got piano yoga with Jenya and it's basically helping pianists confront nerves before performances. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Lays them on the floor. Okay, so make sure that your hands are straight. Someone pulling you down. Oh, wow. There you go. <laughs> but do you feel different? In the afternoon, we've got a concert which we host once a month and it's to help up and coming artists. So it's actually quite close to Ross's heart, I'd say. I'm helping artists that are trying to to make it in such a hard industry. <laughs> Waffle joined the team about three weeks ago. She's the director of greetings. I didn't quite realise how positive she was going to be for the venue, actually. It's amazing how many people come in here all stressed up because they've got an event they're planning or a launch they're planning. Suddenly they see there's a little puppy and they just melt. And you just let, give them the puppy and it's, it's just amazing therapy. There's such a discovery moment when people come in and see this space in the centre of London, but to also then see the world's best piano here. Normally these machines, they're away on a stage, you can't get near it, whereas we'll actually urge people to either just have a go on it or put their head inside that soundboard and hear and feel actually the vibration. It does really make a great focal point for the venue and it enables us to have some amazing musical experiences here. I mean, I find myself there pinching myself at the quality of the music that happens here. I think there are two favourite points for me. One is when the music starts and myself and Debs can relax because everything's in place, everything's ready, everyone's in, suddenly you can just relax and enjoy. And I normally like to be up on that top step when that happens. And then my other favourite point is when everything's packed away at the end of the night. Quite often I'll go and have a little play on the piano. When the music's all finished and everyone's gone away and you're just there, it's kind of surreal. That really just happened. Often it quite inspires you to want to make your own music. <laughs> 